controlled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by the Hotel for Family Fun all over the world. Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by Toyota. Today's episode, Trouble on Tanganyika. <laughs> Gumshoes. Carmen San Diego's ring of reprehensible reprobates has struck again. This time, they filched a ferry on Lake Tanganyika in Africa. The MV Liemba is one of the world's oldest operating steamboats. It runs up and down Lake Tanganyika between the towns of Bujumbura, Burundi, Kigoma, Tanzania, and Umpulungu, Zambia. But the boat is extra important to the smaller villages along the route, most of which have no other public transportation. If you lived, for instance, in the village of Logosa, the ferry might be your only connection with the rest of the world. The boat was built in 1914, sunk during World War I, salvaged in the 1920s, and has been running ever since. But now, this faithful ferry floats no more. Earth a brute, <laughs> Carmen's Herculean hooligan, sucked the lake dry, shanghaied the ship, and then carried it away. Your mission, gumshoes, put brute behind bars, liberate the liamba, and then capture Carmen San Diego. They've ripped off the goods. Now chase down those hoods. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Daniel Steinhagen. Nancy Farrow. Stephen Fisher. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! I say, uh, I was just jumping. Thank you. Thank you. I got to tell you. Good, good. You've heard about the case. We're going to start you off now with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. And as always, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you. Okay, let's go, Chief. Greg, Eartha Brute has stolen the African ferry and there's no time to lose. Now here's the profile on Eartha. Eartha Brute. Eartha Brute. She's stronger than an ox and her head's filled with rocks. Oh, gum shoes. This case has me thinking about gymnastics. And I'll tell you why. Acme Ferrynet has tracked Eartha to the native country of gymnastics coach Bella Caroli. His international reputation was made with the success of young Nadia Komenich in the 1976 Olympics. He defected to the U.S. in 1981 to escape the oppression of dictator Nikolai Ceausescu. Now he works with American gymnasts like champion Betty Okino. Now I happen to have a gymnastic specialty myself I'd like to demonstrate here. I need a little room and usually I uh, do this with mats around because it can be dangerous, but... <clears throat> la, 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 la. Well, what did you expect? I'm a detective, not a gymnast, but will you try? La, 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 la. Greg? Thanks, Chief. That's entertainment. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Albania, Bulgaria, or Romania? Remember the clues that we heard? Native country of Bela Korali, Nadia Komenich, and Nikolai Ceausescu. Everybody's ready. Daniel, we'll start with you. What do you think? I chose Romania. Romania. Dan, uh, Nancy. I also chose Romania. <laughs> Why, thank you. Stephen, how about you? And I also chose Romania. <laughs> everybody said Romania. Luckily for us, everybody's right. Nice job, guys. <laughs> nice way to start it off. So, Daniel, Nancy, Stephen, you all go up to 60 crime bucks. Gives us some time to talk about uh, you guys. Daniel, tell me about yourself. Well, I like water skiing. I play soccer and baseball. And... I'm on the traveling team for my town. Very good. Nice to have you here. Nancy, uh, you play bass, right? Yeah, I, I've been playing for about two years now. Electric yeah. bass? Mm hmm And you play with groups? I have a few informal people that I jam with occasionally. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Stephen, tell me about yourself. Well, I just um, started in a school play that we did. 
Yes. Yes, the Pirate King and the Pirates of Penzance. Very good. Okay, you guys have a great time today. Welcome them all to the show, if you will, please. All right, you guys got off to a good start now for our next clue. We turn to our informant from Acme Railnet. Have a good look. Hey, Gum Shoes. I just saw Eartha in the largest city, in the largest region of the largest country on Earth. It's one of my main stops on the Trans-Siberian Railroad. And even though the winters are long and really, really cold, the people there love boating and swimming. They even sunbathe on a beach at the nearby Ob River. Right now, they're mad. There's a filched ferry floating in their fun facility. <laughs> Okay, guys, name the uh, city, if you will, please. Is it Novosibirsk, Kazan, or Ulaanbaatar? Remember the clues that we heard? Largest city in the largest region in the largest country on Earth. Main stop on the Trans-Siberian Railroad and Ob River is nearby. Everybody's ready. Daniel, we'll start with you. What do you think? I chose Novosibirsk. Uh, Novosibirsk. What do you think, Nancy? I also chose Novosibirsk. Uh, Novosibirsk. What do you think, Stephen? I chose Kazan. Kazan. The answer we're looking for is Novosibirsk. Nice job, Daniel. Nancy. Okay, so that means Daniel and Nancy, you go up to 70 crime bucks. Steven, you're still at 60, but right in there. Now, for our next clue, we turn to the one... Wait a minute. It sounds like uh, rumors flying. Let me just go out here and check the word on the street. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. Hey, man. What's the word on the street? Hey, Greg, there are three words on the street. Xiao, Nyong, Kong. Now, they mean children's palace in Mandarin. Earth is hiding out at a Xiaonyong Kong in China's largest city. It really is a palace that once belonged to a rich family. But now it's sort of a, a clubhouse for kids. They have organized activities like drama, music, and art, and more individual stuff like computer games and model building. Now, these kids don't like Eartha, though. She plays mighty rough. Mm. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. Wait a <clears throat> It's weird. I'm just, uh, just not feeling myself today. Uh, okay, guys, uh, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Taipei, Shanghai, or Beijing? Remember the clues that we heard? Children's Palace, Mandarin language, and China's largest city. Everybody's ready? Daniel, we'll start with you. What do you think? I chose Shanghai. Shanghai. Nancy? I chose Beijing. Thank you, Nancy. Stephen? And I chose Beijing. <laughs> the answer we're looking for is Shanghai. Nice job, Daniel. <laughs> Okay, so that means, Daniel, you go up to 80 crime bucks. Nancy stays at 70, Steven stays at 60 crime bucks. Now, okay, you guys know what that means? It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions are about Earth's most recent known whereabouts, which is Shanghai. For every correct answer, we'll give you five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Early each morning, many Shanghai residents gather to practice Tai Chi Quan. Is Tai Chi Quan a traditional form of exercise, communal bathing, or breakfast? Daniel. Exercise? Is right. Nice job. Fire for you. <laughs> Takes up to 85 crime bus. Question two. There are 12 million people in Shanghai, and they use a lot of water. But the pumping of groundwater is having a geological effect on the city. Is Shanghai sinking, becoming a desert, or drifting inland? Daniel. Sinking? What's that? Sinking? Sinking is right. Nice job. Fire for you. Question three. A main reason for Shanghai's importance as a port city is its location near a major Chinese river. Is that river the Yellow, the Pearl, or the Yangtze? Uh, Stephen. The Yangtze. Is exactly right. Nice job. Five for you. That means at the end of that round, Daniel has 90, Nancy 70, and Stephen 65 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Greg, come here to my office. Yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll be right there. You guys stay here. I'm going to check with her. Something strange going on. Chief, your phone's ringing. Yes, it's been ringing all day, but whenever I pick it up, there's no one on the other end. Don't hear Let me try it. Acme Crime Net. Yeah, she's right here. It's for you, Chief. Hello. Hello. Hello? They did it again. You know, it's probably Carmen up to her old tricks. You know, it's a fine mess when I can't answer my own phone. Chief, wait a minute. There's something in your ear. That's what? why... There's something in your ear. Oh, there is. Yeah. Let me, you want me to get it out? Oh. Oh. Oh, chief. No wonder you couldn't hear me. You had an earplug in your ear. Oh, of course. <laughs> it was noisy last night. I put in my earplugs. It looks much better. Oh, I bet so, yeah. Now, is there anything you want me to tell my gumshoes today? Yes. Tell them, if Carmen is put behind bars, the gumshoe who packs her in the slammer will get a free trip anywhere in North America.
That's good news, too. You get out there, get back to work, Greg. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, I, and one, by the way, yeah. could you get this one out? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, bye, Chief. Oh, yeah, bye. Yeah. Mmm. <coughs> Wintergreen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, guys, uh, you know, we're still looking for Eartha and the fairy. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Eartha and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Eartha, head for an African river that borders Zambia and Zimbabwe. Local legends say that the giant Kariba Dam separates the river god from his wife. Oh, Carmen, that's so sad. How did it happen? The Tonga people believe that when the river god's wife went downriver, the white men came, built the dam, and now he can't get her back. Oh, yeah? We'll just see about that. Just let me at that dam. Calm yourself, Eartha. Destroying that dam and its support system could wipe out half of Zimbabwe and all of Mozambique. Sorry, Carmen. When I hear stories of true love, I just get carried away. <laughs> okay, guys, name the river, if you will, please. Is it Congo River? Limpopo River or Zambezi River. Remember the clues that we heard border Z Zambia and Zimbabwe and the Kariba Dam. Everybody's ready. Daniel, what do you think? I chose the Zambezi River. Zambezi River. What do you think, Nancy? I also chose the Zambezi River. Zambezi River, Stephen. And I also chose the Zambezi River. Everybody chose the same thing. Everybody's right. Nice job. Okay, so Daniel, we come to 100 crime bucks. Nancy has 80, Stephen 75 crime bucks. Now, we've just received word that Eartha has left the Zambezi River. So let's pick up. The chase. The chase. Wait a minute. Just not feeling myself today. Each one of these worth five crime bucks. Hands in your buzzers, please. Watch the monitor. Listen closely. Here we go. According to our agents, Eartha sailed the ferry to Venezuela's capital city. Daniel. Caracas. Caracas is right. From Caracas, she dashed west to the city of Cartagena. Stephen. Um. Columbia? Columbia's right. Eartha ferried the ferry from Cartagena uh, west by northwest. Daniel? To um, the Caribbean? Caribbean's right. From Nicaragua, she raced south and crossed the border into another country. Oh. Name it. Stephen? Panama? Sorry, it's Costa Rica. From Costa Rica, Eartha scrambled south along the Pacific coast to the... E Daniel? Ecuador? Ecuador is right. That means at the end of the chase round, Daniel's up to 115. Nancy's still at 80. Stephen's at 80 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Very good. Okay, now's the time to take a deep breath, everybody. Thank you very much, because now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here is a portion of the world where we think Eartha is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready. Now, for our next clue, we turn to the one and only... Wait a minute. I'm getting a Fab Four kind of feeling, and I'm being drawn to this television. Two, three. Earth the Brood Past Ben Franklin Bridge on her commute Through Walt Whitman Bridge the boat did scoot And that is where she hid the loot down the Delaware. Earth gave that boat a shove with her goofy hair in the city of brotherly love. Oh, I detest that Earth. Rockapella, ladies and gentlemen. Rockapella. Eerie. <laughs> okay, guys, you heard the clue. Now name the city. Is it Philadelphia, Baltimore, or Washington, D.C.? Remember the clues that we heard? Betsy Ross Bridge, Delaware River, and City of Brotherly Love. Everybody's ready. Stephen, we're going to start with you. You have 80 crime bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? 
I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What did you say, sir? I said Philadelphia. Philadelphia is right. Nice job, Stephen. <laughs> Nancy, did you really like that last clue, by the way? Okay. Being a bass player? Was it wonderful? Okay. okay, you're at 80 crime bucks. Tell me how much did you risk? I also risked 30 crime bucks. <laughs> What'd you say? And I also said Philadelphia. <laughs> and you were also right, Nancy. <laughs> Daniel, you have 115 crime bucks. How much did you risk, sir? I risked 20, Greg. 20 crime bucks. Now, folks, this is what it's all about right here. What did you say? I said Philadelphia. Is right. Nice job. You have 20. That means you have 135. Now, Daniel, you're for sure going on to the next round. Nancy and Steven, though, you guys are tied at 110, which means we have to do a tiebreaker. Here's what we're going to do. I am going to read names of places. What you have to do is tell me what state those places are in. All right, so hands on your buzzers. You can guess as many times as you want to, okay? Here we go. Denali Highway, Sitka, Point Barrow, Kodiak, Fairbanks. Steven. Virginia. It's not Virginia. You can still answer. Here we go. Fairbanks. Anchorage. Stephen. Alaska. Alaska's right. I mean, Stephen and Daniel, you're going on to the next round. Nancy, listen, you were in that thing to the very end. You did some great stuff for us. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and to practice those tricks you learned at Acme Basketball and Optical Illusion Camp, this handy portable globe. Now, this particular trick takes lots of training. Uh, okay, that's good. Uh, thanks, Chief. Uh, now time. It's time for you guys to go to Philadelphia to try to track down the fairy and Earth of Brew. What you have to do is find them and bring them back. But fortunately for you, we did not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> The folks down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides of Philadelphia. Have a look. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, nicknamed the city of brotherly love. This love sculpture is the work of artist Robert Indiana. No relation to the state. Favorite Philly foods include the cheesesteak and the soft pretzel with mustard. You may spot Eartha hurrying the ferry under the Ben Franklin Bridge, named for the man who settled Philadelphia in 1723. There are also bridges named after patriot Betsy Ross and writer Walt Whitman. Historic Independence Hall, where the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were signed. Philadelphia was the capital of the U.S. from 1790 to 1800. Alfred's Alley called the oldest street in America. <laughs> Could Eartha have shoved the ferry into the narrow path, squished it between the poles, and dragged it over the cobblestones? Well, ferry, possibly. The fountain at Logan Circle, with its spouting sprites. You know, I've often thought that that one on the left looked like my Uncle Aloysius. No, no, really, just the spitting image. Now, you might find Eartha pummeling this statue of fictional Philly fighter Rocky Balboa. She has vowed to walk all over the big galoot. And you've got a rocky road ahead of you, gumshoes. Eartha Brute and the Liamba Ferry Boat are in Philadelphia. Go get them! Hey, guys, here we are in Philadelphia. So hey, guys, here we are in Philadelphia. Set your stuff down right there. Take a walk right over that way. Let me show you what we have here are the possible locations where you will be able to find Eartha, the fairy, and a warrant for Eartha's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get the warrant. With a warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. One more thing, as always, if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Daniel, you were ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Fields Planetarium. Fells Planetarium. Nope, nothing there. Okay, Stephen. University of Pennsylvania. The University of Pennsylvania. The warrant. Nice job. You get the warrant. Remember, Stephen, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead. Fells Planetarium. Fells Planetarium. Mm -hmm. Nice strategy. Turn those back around. Daniel, here we go. Congress Hall. Congress Hall. Nope, sorry. Stephen. Independence Hall. Independence Hall. Oops, misspelled that one. Nothing there. One of my favorite places there. Daniel, Spectrum. go ahead. Spectrum. The Spectrum. No, Stephen. Uh, Logan Circle. Logan Circle. Mm -hmm. 
Nice job. You found Earth. And remember, you have to go in the right order. Loot warrant crook. Go ahead, Steve. Bell's Planetarium. Bell's Planetarium. I think you've seen this played before a couple times. Turn back around. Daniel, go ahead. Betsy Ross House. The Betsy Ross House. Sorry, Stephen. Bartram's Garden. Bartram's Garden. No, nothing there. Daniel. Elfrith's Alley. Elfrith's Alley. <laughs> no, nothing there. Surprise me. Stephen, go ahead. Fairmont Park. Uh, Fairmont Park. Nope, sorry. Daniel. South Street. South Street. Pardon me, boy. Ooh. Is that the tank and you could ferry? <laughs> <laughs> the Beatles, ladies and gentlemen. University uh, of Pennsylvania. Thank you. We'll just continue with the game. Yes, thank you for doing that. Uh, what is it? University of Pennsylvania. University of Pennsylvania. Not wasting any more time. The warrant. You have the loot. You have the warrant. You need one more, Daniel. Do you remember where she is? Logan Circle. Is she still at Logan Circle? Yeah. yeah. Nice job. Yeah, you know how to do that thing. Now, what you have to do is put Eartha in jail. All you have to do is pull on this chain and do it. So do it. In jail. Good job, pal. Right here. Put it right there. And back at you. And Tim, come in. All right, what are you looking at? Okay. Now, we're going to talk about your next adventure just a little bit, sir. But first, Stephen, you were a great detective. You tracked Eartha all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief. A gumshoe's beat is a whole world, and world beat is the music for the 90s. So, we're giving you a collection of world music, CDs by artists from all around the globe. Plus, we have this CD filled with music from Rockapella, including our theme song. And we've all chipped in to buy a portable CD player. Congratulations! We're talking about accommodations on the trip if he gets it, so we'll talk about that just a little bit later on. What we have to find out, though, is where you want to go if you catch Carmen San Diego. And you know what this is, right? Yeah. And you want to just do it right now? Yes. Okay, we'll just continue. We're kind of running the show now. From here. So we're going now. Right ahead. Where do you want to go? I knew you were going to do this. I knew it. Don't tell anybody, though. Thank you. Thank you, Ben Cap. Very important to put the pen cap back on. If it's not back on, it gets... Scribbled. Scribbled, exactly. My words exactly. Now, we have to find Carmen San Diego. We don't know where she's at, though. Usually we get... Phone call. You know this, right? You want to take it or should I? You can take I'll it. I'll take it first. Hello? No, you don't want me. You want... Okay, they never want me. Go Hello? Ahead. This is Eartha Brood calling. All I do here in jail is split rugs. I've never been so happy in all my life. Bring Carmen over to share in the fun. You'll find her in Asia. What's she say? We're going to... It, she, Carmen's in Asia. Okay, so all that, we're going to Asia, me and Daniel. Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Lebanon, Iraq, Qatar, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, India, China, Mongolia, Thailand, Laos, Brunei, Taiwan, South Korea. Red. Let's go to the map. I feel good. All right, Daniel, stand right there. We're going to get 45 seconds up on the clock. What you have to do is get eight of these in 45 seconds, okay? Okay, everybody, listen up. Here we go. Listen up. Quiet, please. Here we go. Eight and 45 seconds. You ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Brunei. Brunei. Do it. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Lebanon, 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 Lebanon. You got it, come on. Mongolia, Mongolia, Mongolia. Yeah. Yemen, 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 Yemen. Yeah. Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan, do it. No, try it again, try it again. No, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Laos, Laos, Laos. Do it, buddy. Hurry, hurry. Yeah. South Korea, South Korea. South Korea. Go, buddy. Yes. Qatar, 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 Qatar. Oh, careful. You're all right. Come on. You all right? Come on. You got it? Oh. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah. Okay. How much you get there? You got how many? How many? Six in 45 seconds. You guys give them the biggest round of applause you possibly can. What? Six. Come here this way. Come here this way. Here, pick up this thing. Nice dive at the end there. We have the head here. We almost got her. Hey, you want to hold on to this? That was great. Give him a round of applause, you guys. That was very nice. Man, you were very, very close. But remember, you didn't lose this thing. You got, you got the crook. You got the loot. That wasn't bad. Chief, what do you say? You've done great work today. And we're proud of you. Walter! 
I hereby upgrade you. You are now a sleuth. Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. We will be awarding you this, of course. There's your first prize. And now that you're a sleuth, you won't have to wear the gumshoe jacket. Now you're going to be able to wear the official Carmen San Diego sleuth jacket. What do you guys think of that? Good? Yeah. Sign on, buddy. <laughs> what's that? Too big. Oh, never mind. Now, there's also, there's also something talking to this. Sorry. Now, we also have something else. Since you got six out of eight, we've also thrown in this very nice camera. What do you guys think of that? All right, there you go, buddy. Now, listen, you've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. Do it, Rockefeller! Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filcher from Berlin down to Belize. Take me for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where. Carmen San Diego. Steal their yeah. soul in South Korea. Yeah. Make it yeah. let it come right off the yeah. yeah. from the Red Sea yeah. to Greenland. They'll be singing yeah. the blues. Yeah. We'll be yeah. never yeah. Arkansas her steal. Yeah. We yeah. go yeah. from the jungle. Yeah. We'll be where in the world is Carmen San Diego. She go from Nashville to Norway. Honey and Jews in Bobby, Chicago to Czech or Slovakia. And back. Well, she'll rent and back a stand. Down under, she was when she stole the beans from Lima. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Speaking for where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And remember, if Carmen's gang don't start repenting, we'll make them roommates in San Quentin. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you.